Like this video because it's Pride Month and we're gay. It's the least you could do. Yeah. Please. No, I said top energy, remember? Top energy, angry. Oh. Do you guys ever wake up, have your morning coffee, feel like you could own the world for those first 15 minutes and then it dies down and then you're just like, never mind? Me too. Do you have dandruff? Sometimes. Are you insecure about it? I mean, kind of. Did you not get enough love in your childhood? How is that relevant? I'm curious. Well, don't worry. Head and Shoulders is here to help. With the dandruff or the childhood stuff? Their new apple cider vinegar collection utilizes scalp active zinc parathion. Wait, what? To target the source of dandruff and balance out the scalp. Okay, but what does it smell like? Ah. <sighs> Oh, that does smell pretty Doesn't good. Doesn't that sound really, really good? They also have their classic clean collection, which detoxifies the scalp and restores balance. Oh, cool. So what do you say you go shower now? I, I, was, I was just gonna wait. Go shower. I promise you're going to have the most amazing experience. Okay. Yeah. So go shop it now. Does anyone else go to the grocery store, come home, cook, and then decide you're gonna order Postmates anyway? Me too. Nature cereal, take one. Do, 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 do. Blueberries. Ooh, love the smell of pomegranate seeds. Ooh, that was a lot, that's okay. I'm more of like a, if it looks like perfect, then that's how much I saw put. That looks like too much. And we take some coconut water, and if I was Lizzo, I'd probably shake it. I love watching her shake a salad. Just do a little bit of this. God, it feels like something's supposed to happen, like it's a science experiment. Ooh, that's a hot spoon. Ooh, 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 ooh. Too hot, too hot, too hot, too hot. Here we go. Get a nice balance, okay. <laughs> wow, that's good. I literally got goosebumps. That is mother, yo. Yo. Something's going on with your brain because you think it's giving cereal. It's giving cereal vibes. Whoever invented this and made it a thing, Thank you, thank you so much, namaste. Namaste in here and I'm gonna eat this. Lola, what do you think of my boyfriend? Okay. What? I like him. What? What are you asking me that question for? You know I love him. Don't know you. He does, you okay. do. Okay, see? Salamat po. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Lola, yeah. can you come here? Can you say, gay rights? Gay rights! Nice! Hey, yeah. Gay rights! Yeah. Hey, gay rights! Oh, gay rights! Excuse me, sir. I can't really do my work when I've got a camera pointed in my face. Does anyone else get in their robe at like 7 p.m., start playing video games and make yourself a cup of coffee? Me too. People always ask me like, Chris, what were you and Ian like before TikTok? I went back and I found this video from March of 2020, one month before we started our TikTok. He used to just play these characters around the apartment. I'm just gonna let you watch it. It gets very interesting, but this is what we were like. During my day, you made pictures. What kind? Moving pictures? Black and white pictures. Those were the days. Those were the days. But we don't have those anymore. And now I'm box office poison. No matter, we trot along and we go with our day. Right, dear? Be a lamb and make me a gin. You're back on YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Well, hello, YouTube. I am so glad to be back. I'm just having a zen day, you know? Oh, God, what do I look like? I'm ready for COVID to be done. One of the good things about having this car is I can sing in here and no one can hear me. Mama will provide. Oh, <laughs> Now, am I saying it's the best thing? Yes. We want a Nintendo Switch and we want it now! Sorry, I'm sorry. I did not mean to sound entitled before. I don't, it's okay if I don't have one. But we just, we called the GameStop 10 minutes ago and they said they had one and when we got there, it was gone. Lies. Lies and deceit! What is with the shortage of Nintendo Switches in the, this world? If anyone in the West Hollywood area knows where we can get one, it's it's what it's all we need. I just want to play Mario Kart. We'll buy it off of the black market. And what? I just posted another singing video. Oh. Do you want to watch it? 
Yes, I do. Nervous? Why would I be nervous? I'm not the one singing. I'm the judgy one listening to my boyfriend That's sing. true. I'm nervous. I know. I was I, projecting. Yeah, yeah. I hope you're good. Okay, pop star. You sound amazing. Are you watching it again? Now I'm gonna, I'm, maybe I'll have like notes. Work, how do you feel about that? Putting yourself out there? Yeah. Singing, doing that thing you were meant to do on this earth. Soon you won't even need me in these videos. It's just gonna be you singing. No, I'll always need you. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> I am getting ice cream and no one's stopping me. I am no longer going to be sh myself. Telling myself what I should and what I shouldn't do. Because you know what, this summer, stop shitting yourself. It's what I've been doing with these two faves from Halo Top. Look, I literally only have one bar left. These Halo Top sea salt caramel keto pops, three grams of protein per pop. I mean, with a flavor like chocolate caramel brownie, I mean, you should be eating this. Anyway, we're gonna stop shitting ourselves this summer, right? Okay, I'm gonna eat this now. So stop, stop looking at me, all right? Let me eat this in private. This is for all the New York friends who told me I wouldn't walk anywhere. I'm walking everywhere. I walk to the gym a mile and a half. I walk to the grocery store. I walk to pick up my Postmates. And I, I'm literally walking everywhere. The streets are so much more open. I'm staring at houses and wondering why that architect decided to build it that way. I mean, in New York, it's just like a different thing, you know? So I actually feel like I'm doing more of a walk while I'm in LA. I don't know why I'm getting quiet. Um, but that's another thing. I'm respectful. I'm in these neighborhoods. I'm looking at these houses. I don't want to, I don't want to disturb the peace, you know? If you're at a party and a guy comes up to you, what are you going to say? A really hot guy. Am I in a relationship or out of a relationship? You are you right now. So you're in a relationship. Okay. With me. And I'm at a party. And a really hot guy comes up to you and is like, hey, you want some of this? And I would say, excuse me? Want some of what? What's your name? Am I being pranked? Is this a joke? That's what I'd say. Now I'm with you. Oh, at the party. Yeah. Okay. So what do you say? This really hot guy comes up to you and he's like, Rar, I just want you. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe, but I'm, I'm dating someone who I love, so. Oh. Cute ass, though. How about them dolphins? <laughs> Yo. For anybody that watches Ozark, I just caught up. Damn. 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 Oh, snap. Oh, shoot. What do I want for dinner? What do I want for dinner? What do I want for dinner? What do I want? What do I want for dinner? Are you from TikTok? Yeah. That is amazing, me too. Oh. Hooking up with my friend Neve in a park. Don't say that. Wait, why? We're not hooking up in a park. Yeah, we are. We're hooking up. We're linking up. I don't up. We're... think Joe or Ian would appreciate us not distinguishing hooking up versus hanging out. Isn't that, wait, it's hooking up. Just, We're just do it. Oh. Hanging out with my friend Neve in a park. Okay, so I am shopping for therapists because it is time for me to dissolve the chatter in my head with someone who um, is equipped to do so that isn't my boyfriend or my six friends that I talk to. And I'm on Psychology Today. And if you don't know about Psychology Today, um, it's like Tinder for therapy. And I'm like, what do I pick? Do I pick a gay guy? Do I pick a woman? Does the woman make me feel safer because... I don't know, maybe she'll judge me less, but maybe she won't understand me as much. Do I pick the older gay man? Because one, maybe I won't be attracted to him, but what if he's a daddy? And then two, is it, you know, he has more experience, they're a little bit wiser, they sit back and they've hopefully rehearsed empathy and compassion more than the younger ones, you know what I mean? This is hard. Things with me and Ian have been so amazing recently. Oh. We've been dating for almost two years now. Two years. And I feel like it only gets <laughs> wow. better. Like, yes, I Chris, Chris, one second. Okay. Commercial break, all right? Okay. <laughs> curtain down, curtain down, curtain what down. What curtain? 
what the fuck? What the fuck at this point? Ian, 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 Ian. Once Ian, a day, Ian. baby. Once a day for really nice. Right, it's really nice. It's a constant headache. I'm waiting. Uh, what? You will speak when spoken to. And another oh thing, God. I haven't known this guy for a long time. No, 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 no. But I think it's safe to say Chris is a pathological liar. Pathological liar. So happy to say Because he says, he says, he has his boyfriend. Boyfriend. Yes, I do. What's his name? Liam. 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 It's Ian. The adults are speaking. Oh, okay, and we can all agree, right? Ian's not real. Never, never seen them in the same video together. together. Not once. <laughs> but, but, yeah. I digress. I digress. Once again, for that curtain. What curtain? YouTube. I love you guys. Too. Adorable. Couple goals. Happy Pride. Can someone explain to me car dealerships? It's such a mind. You go in there and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You set the terms. You like work all of this time and we're sitting there arguing our terms. Right, babe? They're so bad. And then they're like, great. Everything's cool. We'll send you up to finance. And then you get to finance and it's like all of a sudden, sorry, this can't work. Are you sure you are who you are? Do you, do you own anything? Do you make money? Have you ever made a dollar in your life, you like, poor person? I'm here, give me the car. You know what I mean? Like, I'm good for it. Just trust me. Can't we just work on trust? What are we, we gonna do? do? Today. Oh. <laughs> uh. We can finish each other's sentences. I already know what, I know how, what he's gonna say. Hey, what's, hey, what's up? up? How, how are, are you, you doing, doing today? today? I was I just was gonna, gonna drink some, some water. water today. Mm. <laughs> Balloons. balloons. They're right they're over right there. there. Your happy, happy birthday, birthday balloons, balloons are still right there. there. Hat. Hat. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Look you, at the Los, Los Angeles, Angeles hat. 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 Eyes. 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 Eyebrows. eyebrows. Did you just did get you your eyebrows done? done? Wow. wow. Have you shaved did recently? Oh Didn't look like you did. Camel. 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 You want to smoke a cigarette? What was Where's the movie, the movie I, watched I watched last night? night? It was the, the Avengers! Avengers. <laughs> See? Okay, so here are a few reasons why I'm single and I love being single. I am independent and I love being independent, first of all. Um, I love my alone time. It's literally like the, the best part of my day is anytime I can be alone. I'm so happy you finally feel that way. What? You keep going. Um, I love doing things for myself. That's true. And, um, like, you know, cleaning up and cooking for myself <laughs> and... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're getting McDonald's for dinner! No, we're not. It's Pride Month. You're being homophobic. Babe, I'm gay too. Okay, this isn't the Oppression Olympics. Hello, TikTok. Well, hello, TikTok. It's so nice to be back home where I belong. I don't know if I belong here, but it is nice to be back. How are you guys? It's been a minute. I'm feeling good. I'm liking the color of my skin right now because of the light. Um, but other than that, I am kind of just feeling good in the neighborhood. And um, I'm resurfacing on this app. I had to take a second there. My mental health was kind of having a moment and I just needed to take a passage. I won't say break because that word is like a little bit more damaging than I'd like. Uh, but I just need to take like a little passage of time for myself. And, um, and I'm feeling uh, revitalized, rejuvenated. I visited with some friends, virtually of course. And I feel inspired to hopefully um, uh, get sick of making videos again. What if I bit your hand off? Is this you offering me to do the dishes? Is this you offering me a hand? Oh my God, why thank you so much. Here, hold on me, I'll wet this for you. Just help you out a little bit. <laughs> oh that is so sweet. <laughs> no. I didn't even have to ask and you just came over here and offered your hand to do the dishes. I am, <laughs> well, I am floored. What? I am so excited. I know it's been a while. Do you need me to give you a refresher on how to do this? No. No? Mm -mm. Okay, there he goes, look at that. <laughs> What's up everybody? Today's a very special day. It is February 16th, the day before my birthday, but it's even more special because it is my niece's, Sophia's, sixth birthday, right? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I said it right. No, he made me redo this video, so I'm just making sure. I didn't make you redo it. I said I loved the other one. No, he he helped guide me into making some. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sophia. Happy birthday to you. Weird. We started out rough there, but then I just kind of let him have it, and then I found my way back. You See? started out rough. I was the only one who was singing. I know. I started out rough. I started out rough. Happy birthday, Sophia. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, guys. I'm super excited to announce that I have just finally started my first OnlyFans. Um, so you can just swipe up on the story. Do I get to a discount? Sorry to interrupt. Do I get a discount? No. Friends and family code? <laughs> no. You can use this story to swipe up Actually, on it. Actually, you know what? It doesn't. Would, I'm not a fan, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't need a code. Don't, don't waste it on me. I don't. I don't need a code. I'm not a fan. What? I'm not a fan. You're not a fan? No. Because I'm a shareholder, baby. <laughs> I'm about to scare my boyfriend like crazy. of the day i was driving with nowhere really needing to be by a specific time just kind of a leisurely drive getting my errands done oh my god the amazon guy if you watch the video that i just posted he's so sweet um anyway but i was driving with nowhere to be by no specific time and i could feel miss girl or miss guy behind me and in front of me and you could just feel like they all had somewhere to be and i'm usually that kind of th those people those like need to be somewhere people but today I don't really have to be anywhere. So I was like enjoying my ride and they were honking and a hearing and a thing and a that. And it just was like, I could feel they weren't feeling me because I was driving like, I didn't have anywhere to be. And they were like, why don't you have anywhere to be? And I'm like, girl, cause I'm enjoying my ride. You know, I'm just, I'm usually on the other person's shoes, but today's shoes were, I'm just enjoying my drive. Oh my god, I was doing a video and the nice Amazon guy who bumped into me in the elevator was like, you're really funny. And I was like, oh my god, I was questioning if I'm actually really funny. And this video is going to run out. But I'm going to save it because he was so sweet. And if you're watching, you made my day. So I picked up a homeless guy in New York City, but I like him so much, I'm going to take him. I'm going to keep him. Nobody owns me. Oh. Do you hear me? Nobody owns me. Except. Except? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Tell you don't own me. Do you know that song? I do know that song. Wow. You know? you know what? You're showing your age, finally. Well, you know Ariana Grande and Kristen Chenoweth sang oh, it. Oh, did they sing it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Ariana Chenoweth and Kristen <laughs> Grande, they sang it? They're fantastic. We are brothers. Bum, ba -dum. bum, 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 bum. In the sun. But somebody's son isn't in me. Well, no. Someone's son shouldn't be in you. It's you. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Well, only if you want me to be. Only if there's consent. <laughs> so, I'm at Ikea for the third, second, third time. Um, you know, like it is returning stuff, rugs that don't fit. Um, they're just not big enough. I need a big rug, you know what I mean? Like a big rug, like extra large. As large as my nose. Um, and I was driving here and my car, we got a, a new fun car and it, she's a bit bossy. I was trying to drive and it was like, t it was like moving me back into my lane. And I was like, excuse me, I know what lane I'm in. What if I'm trying not to hit the car next to me? Huh? Huh, my car? Anyway, I'm being, I'm being aggressive to you guys about it, but I should talk to her. So maybe I'll unpack it with her later. In the sun, but somebody's sun isn't in me. What? You should change that. God damn it, Ian! Christopher, what's wrong? Kate, what's going on? Christopher, why, why did you just do that? You scared the shit out of me. Now I think I need to like hug myself into these pillows. I'm sorry, I can't take care of you right now. This is too much. You know, you're lucky you're dating a people pleaser who can't stand to have people disappointed in him. So 
what happened, babe? Everything okay? Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. I don't know the rest, but I'm sure that it came out from your booty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. That was faster than I've ever done it. Now don't fuck with me anymore. <laughs> oh, a sweater. Uh, it's almost posing as a blanket on the, on the couch. How innovative. Shoes? Shoes under the table? Christopher, are you an interior designer? Wow, your style is so... I would say feng shui, more like, um, more like in the way. You know what I mean? Would love to see those shoes somewhere else. Maybe try closet. <laughs> How's everybody feeling? You feel okay? I feel okay. This is a very weird day and a weird energy. Um, but I got out and did some, some physical activity, which is always helpful. So, if you're feeling angsty, if you're feeling like stuck, choked up, confused, go outside, have the sun hit your face, and do some physical activity. Or get the car washed. I'm gonna act like you when you're drunk. What are you gonna do? I'm never drunk, so you don't have any material. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm not even that drunk. I'm just like tired. What are you doing? I'm just ordering Postmates. Do you think McDonald's is still open? Actually, I don't want anything. I need to start eating healthier. But if you order, can you get me fries, 10 piece nuggets, and like a Coke or something? I just love you so much. I just never want to hurt you. I love you. I love you so much. Wow. <laughs> That's How what you dare do. you air our dirty laundry? <laughs> That's what you do. Our loving dirty laundry? <laughs> and I'm not even in the frame? No, 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 no pictures. <laughs> Christopher. Would you mind joining me in a relationship building exercise? Not right now. Not right now? I'm looking at car insurance. I think this would benefit us both. Are you about deeply. To point at something that I'm not doing correctly? No, no, no. Come with me, please. Please. I swear it will be lovely. Okay, let me finish that. Come along. Chop, chop. This is going to be fun. I'm excited. It's called laundry. But we can do it together and find bliss, and we can handle, we, oh, it's sort of, wouldn't take longer than 25 minutes. Together, maybe even shorter than that. Maybe 10, depending on how you fold your socks, of course. Can you make me beautiful? Yes. Okay, Lola, what do you think of this person? I like him. You know who this is. Yeah, I know, it's Ian. He's handsome, I like him. He has a nice face, he looks kind of Sincere, kind of. <laughs> he would hold my hand across the street and he would take care of me. He's very affectionate and he doesn't let you do stupid things. Right. He's good for you. You think so? Mm -hmm. He keeps you straight. Straight? Yeah, <laughs> it's a straight road. Y'all scream all day. I'm gay and I'm proud. Tell your grandmother. Lola, did you know I'm gay? Yes. You did? Uh -huh. Are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah? I'm okay with it! <laughs> it's salty on the dust. Can I try it? Yeah. I mean, it's not like it's like really salty, but it just kind of has this like... taste. Maybe it could be my mouth. Are you a germaphobe now? Because if you're worried about the germs I left on that can... <laughs> Are you worried about the germs I left on that can? Well, don't miss that spot. If you're gonna do it, do it right. Why do you want this drink? You don't really seem like you want the drink. Can I have that back? Please. Do you use words? No, I want it. No, you don't. If you wanted it, it would be in your mouth. That's what she said. Or he. Please, can I have my seltzer back, please? I hope you choke. <laughs> don't. You. Dare. You wouldn't! Advice for young LGBTQ plus people. Coming from a young LGBTQ plus person and a young LGBTQ Plus, but plus is for age person. Sure, um, sure. Did you have an idea? Did you have, like, anything? What was your advice? I would say your self-worth... too late. Okay, back. It's my time. My time for my advice. My advice is huh, have people around you who you love. Have people around you that you can vent to and that you can explore being with. Um, give yourself a place of solace and, like, sanctuary that you can go and recharge... Do you not like the advice I'm giving? No, I love it. Okay, I can feel sort of a passive aggressive way that your eyes are focusing in on what I'm saying because 
No? Am I was I just... about to say something, darling, and oh. you cut me off. Anyway, you are loved by two gay men. Absolutely. And it's spirit day tomorrow. Woo! Oh! I got you. Oh, fuck. I could hear you. Damn it. I got you. You didn't get me. I got you. I got you. It's too quiet around here. No, I scared you. You were scared. There's fear in you. There's none. Ugh. Help me. I'm being attacked. Uh, he's singing opera. He found where I live. TikTok. TikTok, please. I'm in. Well, I can't tell you where I am because otherwise you'll find me, but... Oh. He's gone. Oh. Ah! oh my god, he's back! Oh god, please, TikTok! Help me, he's ready to bounce! Please! Please! He's kind of he's kind of cute though. We are brothers. So a lot of you guys seem to be confused about that video we put out yesterday about us being brothers. And I just want to say, you know, we are normal brothers. We do really normal brotherly stuff. We shower together. We sleep together. We show brotherly affection at all times. I mean, I I love my brother. So uh, it's just a family thing. And this is how our family is close. Guess who just got a dog this weekend? Not us, but we went to a dog event where a lot of people got dogs. We just weren't one of them, so. Absolutely not. Never. We are brothers. Happy Pride Month. We just wanted to take this time to announce that by we, he meant he was gonna impose on what I was doing sitting here next to him on the couch. But I'm glad to go with the flow and join in on this video because it's for Pride Month. Sorry, was I, was I bogarting your video there? We are gay. I don't think we have to tell them that. And we're dating. Well, people Happy know. Pride! Hi guys. Um, I just wanted to take a second and check in because I'm kind of having a low energy day. And I realized no one ever shares those kind of days. It's always, oh, we're having a great day, or like, look what happened, that makes everyone feel good. And not that I don't feel good, but this sort of low energy feeling everybody has. And I know for me, I start to get down on myself for, oh, I'm low energy today, what does that mean? And then like a list of things that end up just keeping me um, in a state of kind of just like sadness or upsetness. Um, just build up and that's okay I'm gonna get over it but I'm getting outside and this feels nice so I'm hoping that I will feel somewhat um, levitated by this uh, and wanted to check in and let you guys know that this is real and everybody has these days um, and I think it's important to share so I guess we'll just start at breakfast so usually, uh, first of all, just to start it off, like I eat very clean. So breakfast like starts off with just clean? like, a, yeah, clean, clean, meaning clean as, as, as in like you're consistent in the junk you eat. No, like, like I that, eat, that's a clean schedule. No, like I eat breakfast is usually like kale, um, spinach, a lot of like fruit. What does it right feel away. like when you lie? Like in your body. So like when you say, when you tell a lie, what happens to you? I, well, I can think. It's exhilarating for me. I guess I could think back to what it feels like when I lie because Why I'm not doing yelling? that right you now. Don't have to yell. So we're, for we're breakfast, right here. so for breakfast, I usually have like feels kale, like I may have struck a chord there. Apples. Um, apples. Guess who just got proposed to this weekend? Not me, but it looks like a lot of people did this Memorial Day weekend. I just wasn't one of them. Ian, are you kidding me? What do you mean? Are you kidding me? Please don't speak to me like that. I know you're not raising your voice at me, young Ian. Man. <gasps> we talked about this yesterday. You I was look very clear so about using good my name right in now. That way. Well, that's different. That's a different way to use my name. <laughs> that's cute. Okay. I look so what? I didn't even hear you. You look so good right now. That's what I thought you said. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, Want to go for a walk? <laughs> Okay, pick a Chris. Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, Chris Pratt, Chris Olsen. That's a lot of Chris's. 
Um, Which one would you leave me for? Oh God. Um, I mean, I wouldn't want to leave you. That wouldn't be very nice now, would it? That's a terrible question. But if I was to answer it, I think what I would do is I'd maybe like I'd break up with you first and then like wait oh. a few months. And therefore, if I'm like my ex-boyfriend, I would wait a week and then say, oh, this is new and start dating someone then. That's if I was to answer that question and do it. But I would never do that to you. I would never do that to you. There's one in her left shoulder, one in her left thigh, a third in her abdomen on the right side. My name is Christopher. I am gay. At this intersection, I am at my most powerful. I was obsessed with Sailor Moon growing up. Oh my god, it's on Hulu. I am never leaving this couch. Oh my god, <laughs> Serena! Guys. Ugh. See you there. I was going to do a video saying gay rights all over the city, but then. Gay rights! No. I'm passing the phone to someone who stole my name. Oh, I'm passing the phone to a bitch with a blue baton. <laughs> I'm passing the phone to a bitch who kissed a man on reality TV. I'm passing the phone to another bitch who didn't save me from the circle. I'm passing the mask to someone who freaked out over a riddle where I was right. A math riddle. I was right. No shade, but you were wrong. If you double the penny, it's a million bucks after uh, a month, but... I'm drama queen. I'm passing the phone to someone who has become my best friend from a show. I'm passing the phone to someone who is super loud and pees when they sit down. What's up? I'm Joey Sasso, and I love your face, baby. Let's get it. No, can you have some? no, Please. no. It's it's really good, and I just want you to try some. No, it's not. Well, you're not even gonna taste anything, but it's gonna be good. Whatever you do taste, I know. Just let my ego rumble right now and try to tell you how this is supposed to taste. Please, please, come on. I never I never made it. You're gonna like it. Mm 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 mm. Like, let me just enjoy the egg. No, why do you need all of that? Oh my god, what do you mean? I think it's what is that? What is that? Oh my god, I think it's good. There is no need for that many vegetables in the morning. Wow. Okay. Can't tell me I never I'm tried. I'm sure it's good and I'm sure people enjoy it, but not for me. Okay, I guess that sounds like a boundary you're setting. Well, I like you using this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Babe, the, I, I, the, the pan is supposed to get hot. Were you worried it was gonna burn or something? They no. don't. You know what? Don't mess with my in the kitchen. What? I, I'm you not. Know yeah, you are. are you You're using this? No, I'm not. Okay. No, I am using. This is not. That's not how it works, Christopher. I need to make a, you. I will throw egg whites on you. You won't. I will throw <laughs> egg will whites not. on you. <laughs> you won't. Babe, you won't. You won't waste those. <laughs> no, no. I know you won't. Careful. I don't want to have an accident. Oh, oh. Is this you trying to have sex now? We can go have sex right now. <laughs> I just would do much better with some protein in you. And then you'll do much better with some protein in you. Ooh. <laughs> Too much. Rated G for good. <laughs> Are you
Are you in love? No. My boyfriend, when I ask him to film for me. Just get the donuts, mostly. Oh, why, you don't like having a camera point in your face? Is it weird when the camera's like pointing at you? No. It's not? But this video is about the donuts. Weird. And our relationship is about our life. Today, I'm going to be trying the most expensive coffee in LA. And that is from Alfred Coffee Shop. I am going to order it on Postmates. I need a break from road trips. I'm gonna order breakfast bagel first. Also, full disclosure, I have been here before, so I've tried one of their lattes. The ice latte starts at $6.60. Now, when I make it a large, add 60 cents to that. Add oat milk, it adds 90 cents to that. Vanilla, it adds another 60 cents to that. Cost $8.00. And 70 cents. Wow! Their most expensive drink, iced chagachino. I really hope I'm saying that right. It's a blend of functional wild harvested mushroom, cacao, cinnamon, vanilla, monk fruit, milk of choice, and topped with a double shot. Add oatmeal. This drink is ten dollars. Wow! It's here. Here's my bagel. This bagel is dry. And it was ten dollars. Alfred, can we do something about this here? Okay, here we go. Let's start with the drink that I have had before. It just is good. Now for the grand finale, the $10 Chagachino. See if she lives up to being $10. And she better, after my disappointing bagel experience. Uh, I'll give it to them that this is a good drink. Is it worth $10? You call these spirit fingers? No. These are spirit fingers. 10 signs you're in a healthy relationship. Put a finger down if that person respects your healthcare choices. It doesn't go- No, <laughs> I'm why it's mine. Okay, we'll save that. Oh wait, oh God, is it saved? Yes, to doing things you don't want to do. Oh. Put 10 signs you're in a healthy relationship. No, don't- 10 signs, put a finger oh. down if you enjoy spending time with them. Now you didn't put any fingers down. Yeah, you only put a finger down if you agreed with them. Wow. No wonder it feels like I'm doing sort of most of the heavy lifting, so to speak. A lot of luggage, ruining my arugula running through my rampion robbing me me, me. <laughs> just stop <laughs> and i should have laid a spell on do him do the reaction oh my god i shouldn't blah, blah. let me have that and i should have laid a spell on him right then and there and oh the reaction oh my god wait why didn't you put any fingers down what do you mean <sighs> but how was that for you so I just heard that May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and I would just like to say that I am already aware of my mental health. Thank you. Okay, so I have driven over 320 miles to find the best coffee, but it seems like I still haven't found it yet because in my last video, so many people were requesting that I go to this place called Black Rock Coffee Bar, but the closest one is 100 miles away. So where are we going today? We're going to Black Rock! It's early. It's early. Look at that pretty view. So pretty. Oh, and the ocean. <laughs> I don't even have to pee. Do you have to pee? Probably just means I'm severely dehydrated. This one is for the boys with the boom system. Made it! So we've never been here before. Okay, you want to pull forward to the menu? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. That would help. So helpful. What's your most like popular coffee? coffee? Yeah. I'm going to do a secret one where it's a white Snickers. White chocolate, caramel, uh, hazelnut, and blue chocolate. I will try that. God, I don't know what I want. I'll also just do like a surprise drink. I'll do a surprise drink. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so the barista recognized us and she was actually one of the people who suggested we come to this coffee shop. Applause for Katie. Let's just try that. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, cheers. Oh, che yeah, cheers. Wow. So let me tell you, friends, a new and exciting part of my routine, and that is implementing vital proteins, collagen, peptides into my day. One of the best ways to use it is to add it to your coffee, tea, smoothies, oatmeal, or any hot or cold liquid. So I'm going to be showing you how I have it in my coffee. Adding collagen supports healthy hair, skin, nails, and joints, even if you make a mess while adding it to your drink that I need to clean up. One sec. Anyway, this one specifically is unflavored, so my coffee tastes just as delicious as before. Oh, also for a limited time, they are at all Aldi locations, so make sure to add them to your Aldi haul. Go check out Vital Proteins. This guy got a haircut. Ah, oh my God, who is that? Whoa, 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 oh. <gasps> Not the lip bites. Someone film it. Merch going live now! Oh! Oh my god, oh my you god. You can have all this. Look at these cute colors. Go buy some.
a day in the life of a depressed person. I literally just woke up. It's 12.30 p.m. And I have therapy in 30 minutes. I'm literally running to get coffee because if I don't have coffee before this, I can't do it. I can't do it. Therapy was great. Now that that's done with, I think I'm going to go work out. I'm running for my issues. Get away. Okay, now that that's done, what other exciting things do we have for this day? Okay, so here's some things I did working as a Starbucks barista that upset customers. This woman came during rush, so the line was really long in front of her. So when she got to the front, she said, wow, that line was really long. And I said, I know, rush is crazy here. And she said, you guys seem to be moving pretty slow. And it was then that I realized I couldn't make the five baristas I was working with work any faster. So I should have cut the line at least in half and told half the people in front of her to get the f out. That's my bad. Next thing is we ran out of light roast and a guy came into the store asking for light roast coffee. And I was like, oh, we actually just ran out of that, but I can get you any other drink. And he said, can't you just get some from the back? And I said, no, we're, we're out of it in the store. So then he said, whatever, and stormed out. And it was then that I realized I probably should have trekked to one of the fields where they harvest these coffee beans and picked the light roast myself so he could enjoy his cup of coffee. That's really on me. When did the air conditioner broke? So customers were complaining about it all day and being like, when are you going to get that fixed? And while I wasn't a manager, nor could I call anyone to actually fix it i should have gone into the ceiling and fixed it myself what was i thinking i crashed the car prank on my boyfriend uh, hi hi what's up so i just parked um okay i'm happy for you yeah i kind of um oh my god what oh no oh no what just say it I backed i backed up a little too far the back of the car is pretty messed up what yeah, they need to tow the car. <laughs> what? Oh my god, were you listening to Hannah Montana? What the hell? Did the glass shatter and stuff? Yeah. Oh my god, my posters. Okay, all right, I'll just, I'll, I'll see you in two seconds. <laughs> Babe, I'm kidding. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna do like some mobility work. I'm gonna see like how well the upper body moves. Okay, so did you turn into a physical therapist? <laughs> Yesterday I got my certification. Oh wow. So you just raise your right hand. Does that mean we can stop doing TikToks? <laughs> no, no, left hand. And then you cross them. So it's more like a hobby? Yeah. Okay. And then- <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> Christopher! My Apple Watch! Hey. Oh my god. I'm too excited to link you on this. Hey. So guys, I think- Hey. I've been calling you for an hour. An hour? That's what it felt like. It felt like an hour. Probably more like 15 seconds. And Which I'm is... just doing a lot of work for us here, so... I, I know, and I appreciate it so much. You know I love it. I do. I do. That is just a line that you would say to me, so I figure... Well, it's my chance to throw it right back. Okay, I will see you later. Yep, okay. I don't trust you. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. I love you. Bye. Bye, I said love you. Okay. What are you, David Foster? You can't say love you back? It's etiquette. If I say it, you say it back. Okay. Can you believe I'm even arguing this? They will see you later. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Got my water, I've got a smoothie. I could be gone for a very long time. <laughs> okay. Well, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> All right, see ya. Okay. See you later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Have a good day, sir. Okay. Good to see you. Let's see each other soon. Yeah. Oh my God, so weird bumping into you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so literally all you need to do is follow the full one, okay? The other two are empty. Okay. Which one's the full one? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now you know which the full one is? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do it easy. Um, I think it's... <laughs> Let the world know I'm smart. I just hear George Bachelor Party was a big mistake, right? Oh, I'm sure it's gonna be great. And the fact that you guys wanted it to be the bachelor party of your dreams only added extra, totally unnecessary pressure to hold. Oh, Stevie, we never said that. Oh no, you didn't. David said- Good night, guys.
Fortnite. He's so beautiful. Okay, more things I got in trouble for saying at rehab. One time we were having a group, I completely forget what it's about, but I remember at some point we started watching a movie or like a documentary about someone. At this point in my life, I was 18 and like every day when I was 18, I would get super tired at like 2 p.m. I'm pretty sure it was just like depression. And so I fell asleep while this movie was playing. And when I woke up, no one was there. No one thought to wake me up as they all exited the room. And so obviously I got in trouble for falling asleep in that group and being late to my next one. And I was like, why didn't anyone wake me up? And they were like, Chris, it is your responsibility to stay awake during these lectures. So then I said, it is your responsibility to make them more engaging. Yeah, that one, no one was a fan of that one. How do you think the Cheetah Girls knew to all wear that outfit on that day? Do you think they they called each other? I can't even read it. Oh, what kind of dog am I? I got bitch and freeze. <laughs> I like this filter. This is good. This is good. <laughs> oh, yesterday. Uh, dryness. This is just what my ego needs. Well, that's yeah. That's, it is. Like... It's great. Okay. Well, no argument here. That works for me. Fuck off. Okay, so I saw someone do things they got in trouble for saying at eating disorder treatment, so I figured I'd do a thing I got in trouble for saying at rehab. So at the first one I went to, you weren't allowed to talk to members of the other gender because they thought you would just be like swapping your alcohol or drug addiction for sex addiction. But I'm gay, so I did not listen to that. So one night I was hanging out with my girls because nothing stops girls night. And one of the counselors came up to me and was like, Chris, we cannot have you doing this anymore. And I was like, I'm gay. What do you not get about that? I am gay. And he was like, well, you could be lying to us so we can't take any chances. So I looked him right in the eye and I said, I'll prove it. I'll prove it to you. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't like that one. No one in the administration actually liked that one. Why did you press record? I look like a little schoolboy with my hair. Hey guys, good morning. I know, I've just noticed it's like small. I know, why have I just noticed this? Like, I guess it kind of always has been. Just don't really know what to do about it because it used to satisfy me and now it doesn't. It's just, it's a little too small. Who are you talking to? And what are you talking to this person about? Excuse just, me, sorry, hold on. Don't one second, one second. Hi. It's just small. Sorry, yes, give him you a know? second. You just keep saying it's small. It's what's a little too small for, I, I know it used to satisfy me, so what's changed? Then? Yeah, what has changed? And I, I don't Maybe know. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you're the one who's small. changed. Maybe everything else is staying exactly where it is, but you're the one shifting, and so your perspective is like, it's getting smaller, it doesn't fit anymore, but maybe that's because you're not appreciating that it was always that size. And now you're just having a little moment with your friend and you want to complain about it, and so you're calling it small. I'm talking about the pizza we had last night. So am I. <laughs> Coming from someone who likes to know absolutely everything, my curiosity sometimes bites me in the ass. But then once I do know everything, then what? Then I need to know more and more and more. So that drives ego, really. Um, the only thing I need to know more of is algebra to ace that test, but I don't need to ace my partner and I don't need to ace my relationship. I need to trust my partner and I need to trust in my relationship. Okay, so you're flexible, right? You like yoga. Something. I'm gonna put you in some yoga positions and see how flexible you are, okay? Okay. First, get on the ground on your back, okay? And put just like one leg in the air. Bring it as far behind your head as you can. No, no, no. Like, no, like no, right no, down there. No, no. Put one hand just like on your face, kind of like push it into the ground. I don't know, apparently that's really supposed to like feel good. You're supposed to look like you love it, okay? Even though your face is getting pushed into the ground. This is, this is me loving it. Get on all fours, arch your back, like butterfly your knees open. Can you just do this? Or no. No, it's not good for my hips because they don't lie and they don't like that. They don't like that? Random, because I seem to end up in that position a lot. Put your hands against the wall, arch your back again, okay. and now look back. Look back at it. Other way. Yeah. yeah. And kind of like give eyes to the back, you know? that It helps us. <laughs> So I'm doing a response video to the what's the difference between trust and knowing video that we posted on our joint account on Chris's. And I took some time and I really thought about it and I wanted to be clear because it was such a deep question and I had to decide what all that was in the morning before my coffee. Um, but this is what I think. 
I don't think they're the same thing. I think knowing just requires more knowing and has ego involved. And we, th exactly. And so if we think knowing brings us uh, peace, I actually think it takes away discovery and curiosity. But when you have trust, at least in a relationship, if you trust, you allow for more freedom, discovery, curiosity. But if you know everything and you need to know everything about the other person, you don't really allow for any newness. And I think that's a feature of modern love. Do you mind if I just borrow some money? Get with me, you want like two hundred bucks? Um, I don't mind if you borrow two hundred bucks. Yeah, I just need them for balloons. Balloons? Three hundred, actually, if you can. Three hundred dollars for, yeah. for for balloons. Yeah. Who are the balloons for? Are these designer balloons? That doesn't matter. It does matter because if I'm giving you this money, I just kind of want to know how it's going to be used. Here, can I just grab your phone for Venmo to do it for myself? No, no. Why are you asking? Me? Because I just I've been spending a lot, so to get these balloons, I need some help. I need Daddy to help you. <laughs> Okay, got it. We're trying to think of the same word. Okay, got it? Mullen. No, <laughs> you say, got it. Three, two, one. And oh. then you say the same word. Oh, okay. Where's Mullen anyway? That was my first word. Now I can't use it. Thank you very much. Okay, got it. Got it. Three, two, one. Dildo. You have to say the word. I, know, I, got, I got nervous. I was just hoping you would. Got it. Three, two, one. Plan. Plan. Oh. oh. So now you understand? I've seen this. I get it. Well, we've done it before. Oh, there's one though where people guess and they're saying words and it's like you hope to get to the, the thing we're both thinking by saying words that, like, my clue and your clue kind yeah. of. Okay, guys, I saw a video of these two French dudes, like, just telling people how to get their French accent, how to improve their French. Um, and funny enough, the thing I do in the bathroom is I read this Jack Black bottle in French all the time. So I want to see how my accent is doing. Um, and let's see what they say. So it says, Lotion nettoyante multi-usage pour le visage, les cheveux et le corps aux protéines de jojoba et panthénol. How is that? God, oh my God, oh my God. Ian, I'm freaking out. What? Babe, I'm freaking the f out. What? Ian, well, I think I'm I need to go to the hospital. Why? I'm so scared right now. What are you, what's going on? When I close my eyes, I can't see. What are you, okay. I can't see anything. Okay. But... I'm so scared. Oh. Ian, what the f I, Now you're making me scared. Ian, can, uh, can you? What's yeah. the problem? I, when I close my eyes, I can't see. Guessing my boyfriend's replies. Do you want to order food? No, no you can order. I'll cook. Can we do a TikTok like a who knows who better? Yeah, we we can. can if you want. Ian, is everything okay today? Yeah. Yes, why do you always ask me that? Why are you repeating what I'm saying? What is going on? What is this? What is this? Stop doing that. Hey guys, you probably recognize his face from telling you to focus on your blooming. Is that my phone? And all the other rants he goes on, but let me tell you. I speak too. I also have a lot of thoughts. Seems like you're triggered. He just doesn't do all the pranks on me, so there isn't, there, they're just, I don't, there There's isn't much room for me to talk. Battery. This is my video! <gasps> At the same time, I am, I'm I am nowhere battery. near as level-headed as him and would react emotionally in nearly every situation that I would put him through. Oh. Ian, I just need one line. Just stop the singing for- Five seconds. Five seconds. I'm just trying to have my moment. Anyway, I just wanted to say you matter. Right, Ian? Oh my god, you guys. So the craziest thing just happened to me. So I just got my vaccine, but they make you sit there for like 15 minutes afterwards to see if your body has any immediate adverse reactions. So I waited for my 15 minutes and then I got up to leave and a woman stopped me. And she said, did you post about it yet? And I said, no, I haven't posted about it yet and then she was like well then I can't let you leave and then I was like well I have somewhere to be and then she said well if you don't post about it it never happened so then I you know you ate too many donuts right what there aren't enough donuts left Six isn't enough. What about Ellie and Sam? There are two other humans in this house. Yeah, well, they don't eat as many donuts. Right, because you eat six, and there are how many left? Should we go out and get more? Uh, you how can go out and get have? more. I how don't know. How many did you have? Who paid for it? I had two. 
With whose cash? I had to. I paid for it the first time. So naturally, you're going to pay for it the second time. We've naturally. gone twice. So it's a 50-50 uh -oh, thing. Oh, I think we have to have a... Ch and naturally, if you ask me to pay, I'll pay. But not. it shouldn't be this assumption just because you paid the first time. 50-50. But I digress. There aren't enough donuts. There are enough. There are fully enough donuts. How many have you had? I've had two. I've had two. And I had an extra no, maple. No, I have had two. So you've had... So you've had more than two. No, just the maple. Okay, so this is guys I would cheat on my boyfriend with. You're yelling. Okay. <laughs> Number one, no one. I love him and nothing can break the bond that we've created. And that's it. That's it. Right. There's no more. Really? It says number one. Yeah. But that's it. No. <gasps> no. Babe. <gasps> Okay guys, so me and some birds are gonna teach you how to fold my socks. Take the sock, flatten it out, take the heel on both socks and make sure it's super, super flat. Then you're gonna take the bottom sock and you're going to crisscross it over like so. And you're gonna take the left side and cross it over like so. And it's okay if there's a little bit of space there on the right, that doesn't usually happen. Then you'll take the bottom and you'll flip it over exactly and then you'll take that top lip and you will fold it around and then you'll take it and put it in this little pouch. And now you have a perfect folded sock that stays together, stands on its own, makes friends at school, and ooh, 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 make sure that one's, there you go. Thank you. Great for space and look how cute. Oh my God, Shape of Water, we should watch that. Okay, 90%. You haven't seen, yeah, okay, we should watch that. How was your day? It was good. Yeah, did you have your workout? Yeah. Yeah, what yeah. was it? It was good. What? <laughs> What's happening? I tried to kiss you and you repelled me. What? You just like moved away. You like recoiled. No, I didn't. Right. And now you're dismissing me? You're dismissing my experience? No. You're doing it again? No. You're telling me no when I'm going through something that's very real and it's becoming realer and realer. Okay. I validate you. Thank I you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, guys. So I just watched a video where a woman was like sharing fun things about her kitchen, which was stunning and beautiful. And like, I can't wait to have that kitchen. But like, it made me think of a very important question. What are people doing with compost? Like what's happening there? Do I need to be composting? Like I cook a lot, bananas are in my house regularly. I give them food, I mean I don't give them food, but I give them shelter. What happens with composting? Like what, so if I save that, then what do I do? I know I could Google this, but I wanna hear what you all have to say because I have a feeling we all have a different idea as to what composting means, or maybe I'm just an idiot in a Nantucket sweater. Um, can't wait to hear what you all say. Composting, is it the new thing? And by new thing, like, should I just be doing what a thousand other people are doing? Just a reminder, since you seem to forget every few months, I am 23 years old. I just turned 23 a few months ago. I'm still in college. Is it my skin? I thought I was keeping up nicely. I don't, do I look 30? Anyone else feel like the reason you have no friends isn't a you problem. Like you're fun, you're cool, you're a vibe. It's just when you get placed in front of literally any other human, all of that goes out the window. It's like you've never interacted with a human before in your life. Okay, so we are in Nantucket and we're at the famous juice bar. Uh, it's homemade ice cream. So stay tuned for my first experience tasting it. <laughs> Here is the menu of just a few choices. Should be easy. Okay, we're picking up our order. Thank you. So I got pistachio with Keith Bar and he got coffee with caramel. Okay. That is real pistachio. Not wow. sweet. Wow. Ooh, feels healthy. And the heat bar? Mm mm mm. Perfect. You're turned on right now? Yeah. 
Hey guys, um, so I just wanted to get on here and address something. Um, I know it's like a really bad day to address things serious like this, but my comment section is kind of filled with questions about it and I've been getting a lot of DMs um, about where I am, why I'm in like a new location, why I haven't been making videos with Ian recently. Um, so I figured it's just kind of time to tell you guys. Uh, the reason I moved out is because I have decided I am straight. Okay guys, so I had an idea. A bunch of you have expressed questions as to like, how are you guys doing it? We love you and such support for Chris and I. Um, and I thought, let me share one thing that I know helps me with Chris in our relationship. And that is autonomy. Um, and that's a sense of having time for myself, being able to um, want and ask for some alone time I think is helpful, like doing my yoga, whether that's just an hour to myself, whatever it is. Um, it's like when you're a kid and all you can think about is having the thing and then you have it and you're like, oh, I don't need it that much. It's kind of like that with relationships. We like want the safety, security, and the, 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 the safeness of relationship. And then all of a sudden you're like, but wait, I just wish I had my own time. Like, I just want to go to the mall by myself. Just ask for the thing you want. I mean, he's probably wondering where I am right now, but... He's gonna love me when I get back. If someone takes hours to respond, are we all waiting at least like a few minutes before we respond, even if we saw it right away? Because sometimes I'm ready to respond within like two minutes and I feel like that is too soon. Oh, don't run like that. The neighbors are gonna complain under us. Chris, are you crying? It always tends to happen when I'm singing. What's going on with that? What if we do like a boop boop, boop boop, boop also, not enough time for this, man. I've got things to do, you've got things to do. Story time, something that could help, possibly, you know? Yesterday when I was getting my butt bleached, the doctor actually was saying that he didn't think I actually needed it. You're good, you're good. Like, for anyone who's visiting, they're gonna feel like they're staring at their own ass. And so I didn't, I didn't get it then. What are you talking about? Oh, I don't know, sometimes I just gotta go there and see what happens. <laughs> Did that happen? No, 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 no. Anal bleaching? Hey, Mr. Onstein. Here I am. That's alright. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> Literally, like right before my eyes. Wow. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling scared, oh, I simply I remember, great. remember my favorite things. Does anyone else feel like you have no friends? Like, oh my god, sorry. That <laughs> just no one usually responds to me. Nobody responds to me either. Oh my god, should we be friends? Yes. What do we do now? Do we get Starbucks? Yes. Or... Oh, yeah. oh wow. I've just decided recently that I'm no longer gonna have social anxiety. Yes, claps all around. We'll see how long that lasts. I guess trigger warning if you're vegan. <laughs> One of your old favorite songs from way back when. So. Ah! Almost got hit by a bus. Vlogger chat. If there is a song that is going to make you feel better, you listen to Mama Will Provide. Mama Will Provide. Ah! Now, am I saying it's the best thing? Yes. Be honest. Am I a freak? <laughs> Some of y'all babies don't know how to flirt, so let mama teach you how. Step one is to smile, step two is to look down, step three is to look back up. Ready? One, two, three, here we go. Everyone's like, oh, I can't wait till this ends so I can finally hang out with all of my friends. My schedule will not be changing. I will be talking to the same two people I talk to every day, but this time, we can cough on each other. I literally do not know how to make friends without the help of being trapped under an institution together. School friends, great. Work friends, sure. Making friends on my own in the real world? Yeah, now you've lost me.
I'm a Capricorn. And we've already been doing that. <laughs> I'm funny. So hold it until it goes all the way red, please. Like my head. Well, that's an angel. Out Good for you. Bitch. Proud of you. There's evil in all of us. Uh -huh. so it depends yeah. on what you do with it. Got it. it. Wow. I forgot, oh, ice cream. You're I forgot what I was supposed to do. <laughs> so Chris and I are at dinner, and we're on the Upper West Side, and we just had that first, first time getting recognized from TikTok. Yeah, it was really sweet. By Colin. By Colin. Shout out to Colin. Colin. And thank your you. boyfriend. And your boyfriend. Thank you for saying hi. You were so sweet. It was so sweet. So sweet. Joy. Joy, joy. We love you all. Please do that if you see us. And I love the meatballs I'm about to devour right now. Mine? Things as a child I thought I'd have to deal with much more as an adult. Number one, stop, drop, and roll. I was convinced as a child that I would catch on fire at least once before adulthood because as children it was hammered into our heads to stop, drop, and roll when we are on fire, as if it was a normal occurrence. Number two, stranger danger. These adults had us convinced that getting kidnapped was just a normal part of growing up. I was sure that one day when I was walking my dog, a white van was going to pull up and offer me candy and I'd be done for. Number three, quicksand. I have literally never seen quicksand in my life. Guess where we are? Wyoming. Wyoming. Anybody who can guess where we are gets $10 million. Hey guys, so I just downloaded Snapchat. I'm really excited to be on there. Feel free to send any and all explicit content right to that name. It is in the bio. Olson, Chris, I'm really excited to just like get closer with all of you, and I can't wait to see what we do. Chris, you know what talking about means? that? Yes, I just looked it up. It's a synonym for straightforward and honest. No, I'm no. all about honesty. Hmm. Wrong key, but thank you for trying. Well, you're welcome. An octave lower. But I'll give it to you in that key. Happy International Women's Day. I love women and I just wanted to get on here and use my platform for good and boost women's voices. So I have my friend here, Brooke. Hi guys, um, thanks for having me, Chris. Okay, uh, that's enough. 